Let's go. <laughs> oh no, Jasper! Oh no! You gotta run! You gotta run! <laughs> Hello, buddy. It has been a while since we last said hi to the people. Hi. Did you have a good walk? All right, so some people really enjoy cleaning. They find it relaxing and calming, but that just personally ain't me. You know, I'd rather not spend an entire afternoon cleaning my apartment. You know, as a young entrepreneur, always hustling, grinding, selling in the China market, 10 million or nothing, take it or leave it. So anyways, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys one general principle that I use to help my place, you know, keep tidy like 99% of the time, as well as go over some of the specific things that I personally do um, to, you know, just have a nice clean space. Are you ready to expose to these people how we keep our place so freaking tidy? Just look at Jasper's posture. Jasper, why are you so freaking sassy? Jasper gives absolutely zero fucks. All right, so the one main principle that is integral to keeping your place tidy all the time is, come a little closer, come closer. Yeah, you can do it, come closer. Put shit away after you're done using it. That's it. It's as simple as that. Just put it away after you're done. If you're done using the ketchup, put it away. If you're done with your coffee beans, put that shit away. Are you done with your shirt? Put it away. Now, I do understand that this is a lot easier said than done and that put shit away after you're done using it isn't necessarily a minimalism principle. However, I'm coming more from the place of doing something gradually over a long period of time to build systems and habit changes rather than going through massive ups and down of binging and purging. I think a good example is decluttering. You know, a lot of people declutter because they have such a big excess of stuff and because they let it pile up. But if you do things gradually and as they come, you shouldn't necessarily have to do a massive big declutter. Obviously we're all human and we make mistakes and we let things pile up, whether it's physical or emotional, let's not get into that. I know I talked about working out and motivation as an analogy um, a lot throughout my channel, but I think it really makes sense. You know, working out for me at this point has become such a habit um, and it has nothing to do with me actually being motivated to work out. It's not like I have this like deep burning intrinsic fire saying that I need to work out. It's just a part of my routine. It's a part of my lifestyle. Um, and it's just more so about being disciplined. And I think you can do the same thing about um, putting shit back after you're done using it. It's not that I have a big burning passion of I need to put this ketchup bottle back after I'm done using it, you know? It's just something that is, you know, wired into me now after doing it for years and years. Um, and I just know that it's just gonna make my life a lot easier. Um, so I think that's just all it comes down to. And there are still times where I sometimes just leave things hanging, whether I'm busy or have other things to do. But for the most of the time, I can definitely say that the concept of putting shit back after you're done using it has definitely helped me keep my place very, very tidy and organized. I'm not gonna tell you to download some sort of organization app or set reminders, like just fucking do it. Just put it back after you're done. You don't need to make it overly complicated. I think it's a very simple idea and I think you also understand it. You just have to do it. Just fucking do it, okay. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the practical things that I specifically do to help me stay organized and tidy. I think the first obvious one being that this is my entire space. I live in a tiny studio apartment and I think Living in a small space, but also not owning a lot of things or an excess of things just really helps, you know, just stay tidy just because when there's less stuff, there's the less opportunity to make a mess. Although that isn't necessarily 100% true because even if you do live in a small space, um, as easy it is to clean things up, it is even easier to make a mess. For example, if I have, you know, a pant lying around there, not only is it in my living room, but it's also in my bedroom and it's pretty much in my kitchen and it's pretty much in my dining room. So just keep that in mind if you are living in a small space. Yes, it does take me like 10 minutes to actually clean the entire place. However, it can get messy really, really quick if you don't utilize the main core principle of putting shit back after you're done using it. Well, Jasper, you better run. It's gonna come get you. It's gonna come get you. He doesn't care. <laughs> And of course, I have to talk about my robot vacuum. This is my second year using a robot vacuum. 
and it has been, you know, I hate using the word game changer just because I feel like it's very overset and people literally say it's a game changer over like iced coffees. But if you have a dog that sheds a lot like I do, see Jasper over here, he sheds like a motherfucker. So I used to run the robot vacuum once, once a day. Um, and that was when I used to live in Edmonton and Jasper didn't live with me full time. But now that he lives with me full time, I run the vacuum three times a day. Every time we go out for a walk, I run the vacuum and I empty it every single time. And that significantly helps reduce like the hairs I see on the ground. I know I'm gonna get the comments of like, Joe, you live in such a small space. Why don't you just use the broom? I'm like, cause I don't want to. I don't like doing that and I don't wanna do that. that it's just simple as that. So I got a robot vacuum. I use it three times a day and it's fucking awesome. So don't tell me I'm not a minimalist because I have a robot vacuum, okay? Maybe you don't need one, but um, it, it, I, I really enjoy it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Jasper, we have so many people making fun of us for a robot vacuum, but they just don't know how much you shed. Like, you shed a lot, okay? Hi, buddy, I still love you. It's okay if you shed. You can shed all you want. Also, uh, I'll leave the actual specific affiliate link um, below. It's the Eufy 11S boost it's like the boosted one uh but it's been so far so good just because my you know living space is pretty open there's not a lot of you know things in the way i don't need a very advanced robot vacuum i just need something that just works and this definitely works um this is also one of the reasons like i don't really have a rug people are like joe you need to get a rug it really separates your space bam, bam, bam. But you know, it's just one more thing that I gotta clean. When it comes to my countertops and the backsplash, I also employ the same clean it up after using it kind of tactic. Um, every time I cook or wash the dishes, I just give the countertops a quick spritz with the multi-purpose cleaner that I get refilled at the refill store, um, as well as the backsplash, because make sure you guys clean the backsplash often because you just don't want it to let it like pile up and grease up and then you gotta like go in and actually like give it a hard clean. If you do it gradually over a long period of time and actually integrate it into your lifestyle, trust me, it's just gonna make your life a lot easier. Now, let's talk about what has been the center of controversy on my channel, and that is my duvet and it not having a duvet cover. People are like, get a duvet cover, it's easier to wash. But it is so freaking challenging to get on that I, I mean, a fitted sheet is enough challenge for myself. Um, I don't want to mess with another duvet cover. So basically I wash my duvet one week and then the other week I wash the fitted sheet and the pillowcases. So I guess I wash my bedding twice a month and it's just very simple. They both fit into my washing machine. They both fit into the dryer. I'm using a down alternative. Um, and yeah, it's just, it just works for me. If you want to use a duvet cover and wash the duvet cover instead, that's up to you, Sally but you do you, just don't go commenting on my videos. That's so gross, use a duvet cover. A, I don't let people sit on my bed or get into the bed if they're not showered. Um, so I'm very clean when I get into my bed. I also don't sweat a lot when I sleep and also my sweat doesn't smell because I have a defective ABCC11 allele. I know, a massive flex. Um, but you know, my bedding is quite clean so just freaking relax, all right? When it comes to these shelves, I just give them a quick wipe when I'm watering the plant babies. And same with the table, I just give it a quick wipe after I'm done eating every single time. However, when it comes to my mirror, I prefer to keep it, you know, quite dirty just because whenever I show it on video, I always get comments regarding my dirty mirror telling me to clean it. Um, and for me, it's just, you know, increased engagement. So why not, you know? I'm a hustler, I'm grinding, you know, let me be. Comment about my dirty mirrors, please. You know, go spike the algorithm, why not? <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's pretty much how I keep my place tidy and clean. 99% of the time, just push it back after you're done using it. And it is as simple as that. I think doing things gradually and using that methodology has helped me in my personal life, with my business, and just, you know, it's just solid. You know, if you do it gradually, you don't have to let things pile up and accumulate and to the point where you start like dreading doing whatever task you are planning. Just do it gradually and you'll thank yourself later. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and remember to be less shitty. All right, Jasper, can you give me a goodbye boop? Three, two, one, boop.